Hey everybody, Mackenzie from Fanfare here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Follow me, let's check out all the cool new stuff that will be coming out tomorrow. Starting here in Marvel, we're looking at a new issue of Black Widow. We have a number one here, this is Eternals Thanos Rises from Kieran Gillen. We have a couple variant covers for you there. Uh, Extreme Carnage Agony, this is issue number seven of eight. We have one more issue to go. This is a cool issue and it leads her up into the big fight, so it's going to be awesome. We have a paperback for Excalibur, variants for Scream, or I'm sorry, Agony, what's the difference really? We also have Fantastic Four. This is issue number 35, a.k.a. 680. This is a large, oversized, square-bound book. Check it out. Awesome stuff. Love that Super Scroll cover. We have a Fantastic Four paperback for the uh, what the Dan Slott series there. We also have Fantastic Four Life Story for the 90s. Cool stuff. Iron Man 12. We have King the Conqueror number 2. We got Last Annihilation tie-in, Wakanda. Awesome. We got Marauders, uh, Mighty Valkyries. We have a paperback for Miles Morales, Clone Saga. We have a Ms. Marvel paperback and a Savage Avengers King in Black paperback. Spider-Woman 15 for Star Wars. We have Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunter, Darth Vader, and Boosh, or Boosh, whatever. Uh, number one from War of the Bounty Hunters. We have Warhammer 40K, Sisters of Battle, issue number two. We have a Spider-Man number five and X-Men, Trial of Magneto to tie that all up onto the DC. Some cool ones this week. Starting off here, we have the Batman Scooby-Doo Mystery, 6 of 12. We have the Cowardly Lot Batman Hardcover. Batman 89, issue 2 of 6. Real cool Two-Face Dent cover there. I love it. We have Batman Black and White Hardcover there with a super cool Capullo cover. We also have uh, Batman Urban Legends and a gi giant, not giant, it looked huge. It's a hardcover of Batman The World. Awesome. We also have Challenge of the Super Suns, number six of seven, and Future State of Gotham with a super slick white rabbit cover. Love that. Here's a giant book. This is Jack Kirby's Fourth World. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Jack Kirby, top notch. We have uh, Harley Quinn, number one. This is Eat, Bang, Kill Tour. This is a spinoff of the HBO show, so if you've enjoyed that, follow it there. We have I Am Batman, a new number one here from Ridley and Koipel. We also have The Joker, issue number seven from James Tinian, Gear March. Really good issue. Loved it. Setting up some big stuff. We have Justice League, number 67, as well as Justice League, Last Ride, issue number five, Chip Zdarsky. We have Pennyworth, issue number two of seven, and Rorschach, issue number 12. Superman, The Authority, three of four, Titans United. And we also have Wonder Woman 779, a Wonder Woman 80 Years of the Amazon, and Unearth, the Jessica Cruz story. Green Lantern, now Yellow Lantern. What? We have Compass for Image. We have Deep Beyond number eight, Homesick Pilots number nine variant. We have Jupiter's Legacy four. This is Man Eaters the Cursed, Witchcraft for Children. Really cool, just a big old magazine. I love it, really rad covers too. Monstrous paperback. We have a new number one here, uh, Primordial from Jeff Lemire. What happens to the animals that are sent into space a long time back? It's pretty cool, I loved it. We also have many covers for that. And we're looking at Scumbag issue number 10. We have a paperback for Stray Dogs, one of the hottest books of this year. It's very good. Time Before Time issue number 5, Walking Dead Deluxe 23 ties image together. Onto the indies. We're looking at Battle Cats. We have Clans of the Lari. Betty Page, The Curse of the Banshee. We have Bermuda issue number 3 from IDW. Beyond the Breach number 3 from Aftershock. We have Black Smith number 3. Campisi number 2. And we have a second printing for Eat the Rich. Pretty interesting title. Number three of five, Frank Cho's Fight Girls. We have Tomorrow's Ashes from God Killer, third issue of that. Hellboy and the BPRD, 1957. I love that cover. I don't know why, but I just absolutely love that cover. House of Lost Horizons, five of five. Invincible Red Sonja, number four. This is an, an, a manga adaptation of Les Mis. As well as Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and Mao. Uh, moving down here, we have Ma, a new number one from Boom Comics. Uh, pretty heavy subject matter in there. But setting up some of this crazy gnarly stuff that's coming, uh, this book might turn out to be really great. That was an issue full of mystery, so check it out. It's really cool. We also have MFKZ and Moths. Over here we have Nine Stones. We have Ninjak. Then we have Nobody's Child, number one from Behemoth. We also have Porcelain from Muriel Lovett, uh, Possessive, issue two of three. We have Red Room, number four, with a bunch of crazy covers here, including uh, homage to Spawn, number one. Really cool stuff. We have RPG World uh, social media. If the RPG World had social media manga there for you. We also have Savage Hearts number three. Save Yourself number four. Second Coming Only Begotten Sun. We have Seven Secrets. New issue of that one there. This is Snowpiercer. Prequel part two. TMNT Jenica 2. Jenica 2 is actually a really cool story. Check this one out. Uh, Usagi Ojimbo 
beautiful, beautiful koi fish cover from Stan Sakai. We have an Adam Hughes cover for Vampiverse. And White, Chapter 1, new printing, as well as Wind, number 10 from James Tanyan to tie up the indie comics. So, starting over here with the media. We're going to have Buffy the Vampire Slayer Hellmouth Deluxe Edition, big old hardcover. We got a one shot. This is Godzilla Rivals versus Mothra. Really cool. We have Power Rangers, uh, Star Trek Year 5. Here's those Star Wars titles again by adding in Star Wars High Republic Adventures to that. Trailer Park Boys, Bagged and Boarded, and WandaVision hardcover. So we have some kiddo stuff to show you. Animal Crossing, pretty cool. We also have Bun Bun and Bon Bon. Uh, DC Superhero Fairy Tales selection there. Kirby Manga Mania, letters from animals to those who think they're just beasts. We have Oddball History of Pests and Pets, really cool. I Can Read Comics, Pete the Cat. This is Saving Soria, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Splatoon. We have Little Nemo, an all-time classic there, as well as the animated classics, Tim Burton's Night Before Christmas. On to the toys and other cool things to show you today. Starting off with Funko Pops, we are looking at Spider-Man. This is No Way Home, the Spider-Man integrated suit pop. We also have Sylvie from Loki, Wonder Woman from the Red Sun. Uh, sorry, Parks and Recreation, Hunter Run. We have Boys to Men, Sean Stockman, also from Spider-Man. We're looking at Doctor Strange. Sword Art Online, we have Kirito. Alice in Wonderland's White Rabbit, and from Loki, Ravana Renslayer, with a little coin dude on the band Prestos. We have some really cool stuff here from Dragon Ball. This is Vegito. Uh, we got, I'm too tired to even do this today, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, we have some Dragon Ball ones. We have a dragon and a dragon girl. I'm not familiar with this one at all. Those are from... Throw to Tempest Espresso. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> well, there we go. We'll figure it all out. We have one here from My Hero Academia, and we have a cute posket to tie it all together for Disney. We have a two-poster mini pack here for Berserk. Pretty cool. And then we have some really radical t-shirts here. These are the Gleason variant cover shirts. We have Spider-Man, Venom, and Carnage. Absolutely awesome. We have a big selection of sizes. Come and get them while we have them. Uh, we have a pint glass for Amazing Spider-Man 300 classic McFarlane cover. And for some Funko sodas, we've got Batmite, Beast Man, and Tongue Lashore. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, get a hold of us at 269-349-8866. Have a good night.